Hello my purple banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon White 2. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we made it here to Driftvale City and added a new Pokemon member to our team, Nadar the Ducklet. In today's episode, we're going to continue on through here. If you guys remember, we found out a lot about Team Plasma and that they have been divided into two. Up ahead, there are some Team Plasma members, it looks like. Sir, that's the person I was talking about! Over here, this way! Oh, so you're interested in Team Plasma, are you? If you hear what we have to say, you might be able to understand us. My guest, if you're going to come inside, I would like to see what kind of person you are, trainer. That's right, in a Pokemon battle. Let us begin. Here we go, Rodri versus Rude. We have battled Rude a long time ago, it feels like. We are challenged by Pokemon trainer Rude. His two Pokemon, one, of course, which is a Hurtier. Hurtier. Uh, Hurtiers are so annoying, especially when they start working themselves up. And it's also going to lower our attack with an Intimidate. Let's go for the Leaf Tornado, guys. I don't know how much damage we'll be able to do on this Hurtier. If anything, we could always switch over to Ace Row. But I'm kind of nervous about doing that. I don't know. I just feel like Ace Row, I don't know. I don't know if we, we can handle a, like a big hit from this guy. I'm going to go for the Slam. See how much the Slam does to it since we don't really have anything that will be too super effective on it. Ooh, this is probably going to do a lot of damage. Okay, that did a good amount. I feel like if we go for the Leaf Tornado... We might be Are you kidding me? That is such... Wow, that is absolutely ridiculous. That shouldn't have even happened there. Oh, well, I'm going to go ahead and bring out Barky. And I'm sure Barky will be able to finish off this herd here. Thanks for KOing my Snivy, my Superior, my... All that stuff. Let's go for the Flame Burst. That should take down this guy. Sometimes I get so annoyed when they get so lucky. I feel like this game probably does that on purpose. Like, hey... Here's uh, this attack that's going to be missed. Ooh, a Zubat. I actually like I like Zubats. They actually look really cool. Let's go for the Flame Burst. Hope you guys are enjoying your uh, Tuesday. I believe it is today. Yeah, it's definitely Tuesday. I am one day away from heading to Seattle. My flight is on Wednesday at 6 in the morning. I know. And uh, I don't know. Today's one of my friend's birthdays, too. Well, like a really good friend of mine. Uh, it's his birthday. Uh, happy birthday to you, Bryce, if you ever see this. And... We, you know, probably gonna have a good time and then I have a flight at 6 a.m. Which is gonna be absolutely ridiculous. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Hey, what's up, Tommy? He got away! And that is your friend. He may join us. Ooh, it looks like we're heading inside, guys. So this is a this is great. Let's see what, what they're doing here with the Team Plasma guys. I think this is the good side of Team Plasma. Let me introduce myself again. My name is Rude. You guys are all Team Plasma too, right? Tell me, what makes you different from the Team Plasma back there? More accurately, we're former members of Team Plasma. Because of the incident two years ago, we started taking care of the Pokemon that were separated from their trainers as a way to atone for our misdeeds. And you are... I'm Tommy, from Aspersia City. Five years ago, Team Plasma, I mean you, stole my little sister's Pokemon. I'm the pathetic trainer who wasn't able to stop you. Separated? What a joke, you were the thieves who stole them! Is that so? My sincerest apologies. Just an apology, that's it? Where's my sister's Pokemon? Purloin, where's Purloin? The Pokemon you speak of is not in this place. I imagine it is still being used by Team Plasma now. Just as you say, our apologizing doesn't solve anything, but you can't move forward unless you admit you were wrong and apologize. Enough already! Apologizing isn't going to get my sister's Pokemon back. Rodri, I'm going to the Pokemon gym. I'll get stronger and crush every single member of Team Plasma. See you later, Tommy. Team Plasma made trainers like him suffer. I feel terrible about it. How foolish we were. Rodri, as you can see, I can't do anything to thank you. Actually, I have a favor to ask you. Could you please look after this Pokemon Zerua? Now, I'm going to go ahead and hit no. We actually have a team member plan for our sixth slot. But if you guys are playing through and you want to get Zerua, go right on ahead. I just don't feel like Zerua will fit in uh, to our team comp too well. Let me go ahead and heal up our Pokemon then. We'll, we'll be able to continue on. We are going to be taking on the gym today, guys. I'm a little bit nervous for it, but I did get a lot of suggestions from you guys. Basically telling me that thanks to our Superior, our, our Snivy, and, you know, Nagini, and uh, also thanks to... Uh, our Nadar, we are going to have a great type of engine. Nurse Joy, you're looking good today. Mmm, Nurse Joy. All right, let's get on out of here, guys. We have more business to take care of here in this town. Okay, if I'm correct, the gym has been moved. Or has it been moved? I, I honestly don't know. It feels like forever since I've been in Driftville City. And there, here's the gym. Can we just... I'm walking inside. Uh, but, but no, no, but seriously, Tommy might have something important to tell us, so let me go ahead and talk to him, uh, really quickly, because he might give me, like, a magical item that can help me defeat, uh, the guy in here. 
Challenge the gym, huh? Nice, keep getting stronger. Let me tell you though, Clay's tough. Even if all you have to use against ground types is water type Pokemon, you might still be in for a rough fight. All right, guys, looks like we are ready to head inside of Driftvale City's Pokemon Gym, take on its leader, Clay, the underground boss. Ooh, that sounds, sounds tough, but I think we'll be ready to do it. We have two Pokemon that are gonna have a type advantage here, so it's kind of exciting. If you guys remember last time we were here, a long time ago, uh, Clay's gym was a little bit different. It was like, uh, it was kind of like elevators, but it was a little bit different. And um, according to all the other gyms that we've took on, I'm guessing that this one's gonna be revamped as well. Gym leader Clay uses ground type Pokemon. Well, just between you and me, ground type Pokemon aren't good against water type attacks. They also don't like grass or ice type attacks. Oh, and in this gym, the area you walk on will light up. Where you've been is a hint for where you need to go. Awesome! Let's keep on going then. Oh, man. Okay, so it looks like there are gonna be hints. We're gonna have to battle some guys, so let's go ahead and take this one on. I think we should be pretty good at taking this one on. I don't think a lot of these guys are gonna give us trouble. If anything, we'll just get some good experiences out of it, and we'll just be able to uh, keep on going. All right, let, let's get this thing on the road then. Let's get this show going, guys, and uh, see, see what we can do. Whoa, I haven't seen a ball toy since pretty sure that's Gen 3. Holy crap. I really like the fact, though, that this game, what I've been noticing throughout it, is that you actually get the chance to see so many Pokemon from other regions. It, it almost feels like all your Pokemon in the past are coming together here in this present, you know? Who knows what that could say about us? I don't know. Uh, let's just keep on moving and uh, take down this ball toy. Do we have... What is... I don't remember what ball toy is. Is, is it Ground Psychic? I think that's what it was. I don't remember. It has been so long since I dealt with that gen. But come on, let's just take it down, Nagini. Please, please take down this guy so we can continue on in this gym. It's looking like a, a little bit tougher than I expected it to be. So, I don't know. I do have a lot of super potions left, though. From what you guys uh, told me, you suggested buy a lot of super potions. Get prepared. Don't go unprepared into the gym like we have a lot of times. All right, we took down the ball toy. Ooh, gain uh, level 31. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Wait, what level does Nagini evolve? I have no idea. Let's keep on moving then. We took down the first one. I do have a little bit uh, of knowledge of where we're supposed to go. Because you guys did tell me, basically, find a pink path. Because the pink path is what's going to lead you to clay. So, that's what I'm going to be looking for here. A pink path. I know. I, I, <laughs> I really don't know where we're going to find that. Um, or how we're going to find that. But I'm just going to keep on running through here. And I'm honestly going to try to probably battle as little as possible. Ah, but it looks like we have ourselves a battle. Here we go. Uh, another one of these guys. The one you meet when you... I have no idea what he's talking about. As you guys know, I have friends here visiting. Uh, Sully's in town, chilling, having a good time. Uh, hanging out, you know, doing the usual. Uh, him and Mo fighting with each other. I don't know what it, what it is with them. They have a sort of a love-hate relationship. I think we all have one of those in our lives. I'm gonna go for the Leaf Tornado. That should take down this this guy. Drillbur? Yeah, what? Drillbur, come on, man. Drillbur, please. Please, man. Oh, that did absolutely nothing. I'm gonna go for the Slam. Come on, man. Oh, he, did he, he's going for the dig. Really, Drillbur? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Mega Drain the crap out of him when he comes back out of here. I don't think the dig will do much to us. Yeah, not at all. I'm gonna Mega Drain him. Thank goodness for Mega Drain too, because we'll be able to stay in the battles a lot longer, and we won't have to sit here and heal and do all that stuff. You know, it's kind of cool that you can just drain another Pokemon's health and uh, bring it to yourself. It's kind of like you're like a vampire. Ball Toy's coming back out. Uh, Ball Toy kind of annoys me. Um, psychic, right? Yeah. Let Let's keep him out. Let's just Let's just keep out Nagini. Nagini probably has the best shot of taking him down, anyways. Let's go for the Mega Drain. Sometimes I forget these types and. A part of me wishes that I remembered, but, you know, when I first started playing Pokemon, it was like 151, cool, whatever, the original. Now there's who the heck knows of over 300-something. I have no idea. Sometimes it's hard when you haven't played a gen to remember all of these, uh, and that's kind of why I have trouble with remembering all these types sometimes. Ooh, now that grew a level. Wants to learn Air Slash. Heck yeah, we'll learn Air Slash. I'm going to get rid of Aerial Ace. Perfect. And now with that, guys, I think we defeated this trainer, and we have also found the pink path, if I'm correct. And nope, uh, bring out a sand dial. A sand dial? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, I should have switched out to Ace Row for this one. 
you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and switch out to Acero for this one. Acero, get in here. Get, get some action going for you. It's been a while since you've had some time to have some super effective moves on some of these Pokemon. So let's see what you can do. I know that's Sandile. Dark Ground, believe me. I know this one. I think we've had previous experience with this type of Pokemon. So I know that our fighting type moves are gonna take it down. Perfect. There we go. See you later, Sandile. Hope you enjoyed your afternoon here. And with that, guys, we have defeated this worker. Okay. We are here looking for these pink paths. Um, is it this one up here? I don't even know where the heck I'm going. Um, I don't know. Is it this way? Uh, man, guys, this... Oh, this is hard. I'm gonna take this one up. Let's see. The elevators bring you up? Okay. Um, I don't know if it's taking me in the right direction, but I'm gonna try. Ooh, up, up one more. Up one more. Ooh, yes, there's a path down here. Okay, I think we're headed the right way, guys. If I am correct... We are headed the right way or the wrong way. Probably the wrong way. Maybe the right way. I don't know anymore, but there's a pink path and I'm following it. Well, this is a... Oh, yes! There we have it, guys. We have made it to clay. Let me check up on my Pokemon. See how they're doing. Okay. I think we're ready. Let me heal up uh, Acero for a little bit because I think we might... We might just might have to use Acero in this battle. Because uh, I'm thinking he might have a sand dial or something going on. Okay, guys. We are ready to take on Clay. So let's go ahead and talk to him. Hmm. Keep me waiting, then, you kid. All right. Time to see what you can do. Here we go. Rock versus Clay. Driftvale City's gym leader. The ground type trainer. This battle is on its way. Clay has... Ooh, three Pokemon. We're being challenged by Leader Clay. He's going to send out Krokorok. Mother fudge. Ah, I really wanted to have Ace row up against this Krokorok. Oh, now I'm nervous. Now I'm nervous. Um, okay, I really wanted to have Ace row up against Krokorok. I knew this was going to happen. I am going to go ahead and switch out, actually. And I am going to bring out... Uh, let's bring out Nadar. Let's see what Nadar can do. I know Nadar is a little bit under level. Hey, but maybe we can do something here. Get some magic going, as we do have a type advantage on it. And Bulldoze doesn't affect us. Ah, <laughs> what about that, Clay? Oh my gosh, that did a lot of damage. That did a lot of damage. Um, uh, I knew the Bulldoze wasn't going to affect us, but I didn't expect the rest. Impress, is that some strength you've got? Thanks, dude. It's going to go for the crunch. That is going to take us down. <laughs> Nadat is down, but did bring the Krokorok down to about half. Ace Row, come on out. Let's do this. Let's see what you can do. Let's get some magic rolling. I believe in you. I think you can do it. I'm going to go for the Force Palm. Ooh, what the heck is a Torment? I do not remember what Torment does. Uh, we were subjected to a Torment. Hopefully, this will take it down. Krokorok is down. Fantastic. Woo, there we have it, guys. So sweet. We have grown to level 30. Do we learn any moves? No, Nagini gains some XP. Next up is Sand Slash. I am going to switch back out, and we are going to bring out Nagini. All right, Nagini. Warm it up. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Nagini's coming out. And we are ready to get this battle on its way. I think... I don't actually don't remember which one is Clay's strongest... Po oh, wait. I do remember Clay's strongest Pokemon. Oh, man. We are in for some trouble. I just remembered his strongest Pokemon. And this is not going to be a good time. Okay. Let's just keep Mega Draining the Sand Slash. I need to go into uh, Clay's final Pokemon with a lot of health uh, because of how difficult it actually is going to be. Um, that did a, a ton of damage. I think we'll be going into it pretty good. Use a Hyper Potion? Perfect! Keep using the Hyper Potions. I want you to use them now before we get to his final Pokemon uh, because if, if we get to Clay's final Pokemon and this man still has his Hyper Potions, that's when we're going to be uh, shaking. Shaking in our boots. Alright. Okay. Dude, dude, dude. Easy. Easy, Sand Slash. How cool is it though that this Unova Gym Leader has a Pokemon all the way from Kanto. I know that when I was a kid and I watched the Pokemon anime, Sand Slash was one of those Pokemon that really stood out to me when uh, Ash took one on for the first time. I don't know why. I just, it was something about it. I was like, whoa, this Pokemon is so freaking cool. And it was one of those Pokemon that like will always be in my memory. I'll always have that memory of watching the show and seeing it. You know, one of those childhood flashback type things. Uh, we grew to level 32. Uh, ooh, Leaf Blade. Heck yeah. We will definitely learn Leaf Blade. I'll get rid of Leaf Tornado for that. And with that, guys, we have learned Leaf Tornado. And here we go. We are ready to take on Excadrill. I am actually going to switch out Pokemon. And I'm going to bring out Barky. Let's do this. Barky's going to come out. 
We're gonna make some magic happen. Barky is a fire type. So Excadrill, I'm pretty sure, is steel ground. Um, so let's hope we make something happen here, guys. No hard feelings, but I'm extremely stubborn. I actually am too. A lot of my friends tell me I'm stubborn. Actually, when I'm in the, I'm in the car with my friends, a lot of, oh, well, that was, that was nice. A lot of them tell me I don't listen either. <laughs> I know. How messed up is that? Like, we'll be driving, and they're telling me about directions, and then all of a sudden, I'm like, what? what what'd you say? And I just zone. I don't know what it is. I just, like, zone people out when, I, when I'm, like, doing my own thing. That did so much damage. I can, ooh, we got to switch. We got to switch. Um, wow. That did way too much damage for my liking. I'm switching out to Aza. It's going to have to be Nagini because uh, we are taking serious freaking damage there. Um, another slash. Please just just tank it. Thank you. Uh, that's all I needed because now I'm going to be able to heal up our Nagini to pretty much full. And then we'll see uh, if Nagini can take down this Pokemon. Makes me nervous, but we're going to give it a shot, guys. Here we go. Aza is out. We have two Pokemon left. Nagini, you are coming out now. And let's hope for the best, guys. This makes me really, really nervous. We're going to go for the Leaf Blade. It's going to go for a Rock Slide. I don't know how much this Rock, rock Slide is going to do to us. We flinch? Come on. Seriously. Game, just leave me alone. I feel like this game seriously targets me sometimes. Like, you're going to miss this. And there we go, guys. A crit. Oh, my gosh. I've gotten so lucky. <laughs> All right, guys. Nagini gained some XP. Acero gained some XP. We defeated Jim Lita Clay. Man, oh, man, it feels good to go all out and still have it. We got 3960 for winning. Hey, there we go, guys. About time. Astro is evolving. Awesome. Uh, so we've been waiting for this moment for quite a while. Astro evolves from happiness in the daytime, and it looks like we finally got it happy enough to evolve. Yeah, good for us. One more. Yeah, awesome. I love having a fully evolved Pokemon. And with that, guys, it looks... Like, congratulations! Our Ace Row evolved into Lucario. So there we have it, guys. Finally have a fully evolved Pokemon. Phew, you're really something! Little whippersnapper trainer to pack a real punch keeps showing up one after another. Mmm, here, take this! And there we go, guys. With that, we have obtained the Quake Badge. That is the fifth out of eight badges here in the Unova region. Three more to go. We received the Quake Badge from Clay. So this is your fifth badge, huh? If that's no Pokemon up to level 60, we'll obey you. Here, take this too. TM78 Bulldoze. Thank goodness it didn't give us that much trouble this time around. Well, Astro Post, come this way. Okay, where are we going? Are, we, are you taking us somewhere? Uh, this is nice. I like going on trips. Uh, long, long walks on the beach and uh, all that sorts of stuff. Uh, good dancers are crucial for putting on a good show. Wait, is he... Is this man taking us to a strip joint? Is that what he's referring to? It, are, are you serious? You got a gym badge too? I knew you could do it. You know, my partners are the reason I was able to get that badge, but I'm sure there's more connecting us to each other than Pokeballs. If that's all there is, the stolen Perloin's feelings would never be what they were. Oh, so you two squirts know each other, huh? You both ain't so bad, I wanna show you something. Wait, I just remembered. Clay, why, what's the reason? Why have you forgiven Team Plasma? There's always room for folks to grow and change, ain't there? And if you only go after what you think is right, you might end up rejecting all thoughts and opinions other than your own. That's mighty dangerous. Hmm, is that one of those compromises adults are supposed to make? Whatever, I'm gonna fight Team Plasma. Oh yeah? What were you wanting to show us? You ever heard of the Pokemon World Tournament? Trainers from all over the world gather up to see who's toughest. Well then, I'll be waiting for you at the south end of town. A tournament to decide who's strongest, huh? Right on, it's time for some special training. A Pokemon World Tournament where trainers from all over the world gather. That sounds like something we could be a part of. So, next time, guys, we are going to be running around, going to the Pokemon World Tournament, unless there's other things to do. So, if you guys know, if you guys have some tips, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye. Yay, about time we made our Ace Row happy.